From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Welcome to Breaking News, the new show where we don't know what we're about to say and we aren't allowed to smile or laugh. I'm Stephanie Meat. And I'm Daddy. <laughs> Tonight, we'll be investigating a slew of home break-ins <laughs> on Maple Lane and why I smell like piss today. It's because I pissed on your suit. In other news, local eight-year-old Jessica <laughs> No Dad won the local Miss Bumblebee Girl Boss pageant. She now moves on to the state competition where she will be competing against 12 other little idiots. Now, Stephanie, I don't know if you can call them that. Sorry, 12 other idiots. Thank you. <laughs> In local sports news, the Cabin John High School football team beat their rivals, the Damascus 2-0. You might be thinking that 2-0 sounds like an unusual score for football, but remember, football is stupid. A touchdown is worth six points because I have to interrupt you there, Daddy. We've got breaking traffic news coming in. For that, we turn to our traffic reporter, Wet Daniel. Wet? A terrible scene here downtown. A truck full of maple syrup crashed into a vet clinic on Sunset and Diane Lane. Drivers are being told to avoid the area unless they want to see a bunch of sticky lizards and icky gizzards, thickly drizzards, and straight up dead dogs. We have reason to believe the truck driver was distracted at the time of the incident, yelping for the wettest soups in the area. We recommend taking the long way around. Take I-95 North and just keep going. Just drive and drive. Find a new town, settle down there. Don't come back until your kids are grown. Or if that's too long, you coward, you can always take my shortcut, Tokyo drifting on the sidewalk. Back to you, daddy. Thanks, wet. Sounds dangerous, but I gotta say, wet's always early and blood can be cleaned off your fender. Great stuff. Well, it's summer, and that means beating the heat in movie theater air conditioning. Movie theaters, a winning combination of uncomfortable seats, expensive snacks, and freezing cold temperatures. Our film critic, Buzz Aldrin, sat down with a local filmmaker to hear about the production scene around town. Thanks, guys. I'm film critic Buzz Aldrin. I was the second person to walk on the moon, but let's not get bogged down in that. I'm here with Melly Mary Ellen Blankets, who just made her first movie right here in town. Thank you for having me. Your movie is called Avatar, and it uses the music of ABBA to tell a story about a distant planet filled with unobtainium mines. Yep. Tell us about the plot. Well, it's easy. Um, first of all, there's only... Anybody who knows ABBA, you you know about it, so there I don't need to explain it. But basically, uh, there are a couple different. Okay, so we, you like, so Some, something here. Yeah, right? yeah so yeah. you know, um, all your favorites will be there. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. <laughs> can you when you say all your favorites? Do you mean uh, members from ABBA or songs by ABBA? Both. Um, I, most of the cast is and was members of ABBA. Um, we got a great location to shoot, and we shot it. That's what—that's mostly what the movie viewers, booty is looking for. Yeah, yeah. And we shot it all there. Great. Well, great. That's fabulous. Now, George Clooney is in this movie. Tell us about all the pranks he pulled on set. Oh my gosh, he did this one prank where um, he wouldn't come out of his trailer. It was so funny. We all kept laughing. Um, I wasn't there for that, but I heard about it. I heard that it was really funny, and they were all doing fun stuff like that. Um, another fun prank... Sorry, when you said they were all doing fun stuff like that, but you weren't there, that implies that other people were having fun and pulling pranks, but you were not there? That's, yep. So, as I said, I'm astronaut Buzz Aldrin, and on a personal note, I'd like to know how Earth's moon plays into this film. Well, Earth's moon is actually, um, it's sort of it's around but it's it doesn't it's not like affecting the plot in in a way that's real or hard like it's like the earth's moon is like there <laughs> the earth's moon is there and you can see it like when when you watch 
when you watch it at the beginning, you can see the Earth's moon is there, but it's not affecting the plot in a hard way. So in a way, it's almost like it's the moon. It's almost like the moon is right now, where it just exists in the world, but it doesn't have a whole lot of effect on our day to day. Yeah, but it, it has a character name. The Earth's moon's character. It has it has like a name in my movie, whereas as like we just call it moon because it's it's a moon. But um, in my movie, we call it uh, David. Very good. Well, if the, you gave the moon lines, what would they be? Hey, I'm here too. <laughs> so to be clear, the moon as a character excuse in the movie. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I have a question about the traffic going to and from set. By all means. Was it bad? Damn it, wet! you interrupt Mary Ellen Blankets with was it bad? What's wrong with you? I want to do more than traffic. Traffic is boring. One of these days, wet. Pow! Straight to the moon, or David. where I've been, or David. I actually have an interesting story about traffic. Oh, well, if it's interesting, then by all means. Um, basically, I was in my car, and I was driving, and there were cars in front of me and behind me, and people were going everywhere. Like, do you ever, because sometimes, I just think it's so interesting how, like, I look at traffic, and I'm like, people are going everywhere. Yeah. People are always going everywhere. That is interesting. So. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for us. But before we go, we'd like to acknowledge this week's loser. Jess. Stephanie Meat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Aww. I want to hear more about that traffic story. Well, everybody goes everywhere, if you think about it. <laughs> I want to hear more lines from the moon. <laughs> Like what you just saw? Of course you do. You're an informed citizen. Well, guess what? Ten more episodes of Breaking News will be available for you exclusively on Dropout. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. 